I'm super excited about this feature. What if I told you that you would never have to create written content for your business again? This is something I envisioned when I first made the app. I'm calling it auto marketing. And what we're doing is generating daily 2000 plus word SEO optimized articles from just a seed keyword. There's a lot to unpack here. Let's get started. In this video, I'm gonna be walking you through a fresh wordpress.org install for your AIagent.com. If you've already connected your website to this software, you can skip ahead in the video where I start to talk about the auto marketing feature. But if you're new, you're gonna to go to youraiagent.com, enter your name and email address, password, re-enter your password, and then click sign up. When you first launch youraiagent.com, it's gonna drop you on the settings page. You need to connect your website. We offer a bunch of integrations right now. We're gonna do a classic wordpress.org website. I'm gonna click this. Now we need to name our wordpress.org integration. I'm gonna call it bookgen. Then we need to provide a website URL. This is your URL without www dot or HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash. So in this example, it's bookgen.xyz. Now we need a username and app password. And for those things, I'm gonna hop on into my WordPress dashboard. My hosting provider is Porkbun. I'm gonna scroll down. I have WordPress enabled for this website. I'm gonna click on it. Then I'm gonna click direct admin login. How you access your dashboard is going to be different depending on your hosting provider. But I'm in the dashboard now. I'm gonna to go to users, all users. Then I'm gonna click add new user. We need to provide a username and an email address. I'll call this poster. I'll just use a random email address there. And then under role, we need to select editor. This will allow us to make blog posts through the API. Now I'm gonna click add new user. Then click on the new user I just created. We're gonna scroll down on this page under application passwords name it whatever you want. I'm going to name it auto marketing, click add new application password. And then I'm going to copy this code right here, go back into your AIagent.com, paste it under the app password. My username was poster and then click connect. If everything was integrated successfully, you're going to get this notification. It says your wordpress.org website is connected. I'm going to click okay. And then I see it at the bottom of the page here. I can rename this connection at any time or remove it altogether. Okay, next I'm gonna click on API keys and we have a bunch of large language models and image generators to choose from. OpenAI, Gemini, Claude, Stable Diffusion 3. I also let you hook up an assistant from your OpenAI developer dashboard. For this video, I am going to do OpenAI and Stable Diffusion 3 for the images. So to get my open AI secret key, click on this hyperlink, then scroll down, click create new secret key. I'm going to call it auto marketing, click create secret key, copy this key, and then paste it into the input box here. Now for open AI, there is a new way that they are charging users. Go to settings, billing, and it's a pay as you go credit system. So add credits to your account, add a valid payment method, and everything should work as intended. Next for Stable Diffusion 3, I'm going to click on this hyperlink. It takes me to beta.dreamstudio.ai, and you also need to purchase credits for your account. $10 gets you roughly 5,000 images. That's a lot of articles that you'll be generating. Very cheap. If you don't have an API key yet, click the plus button confirm to the API terms of service, and then copy that new key, go back into your AI agent and paste it into the input box. All right, we have our API keys up. The next step is to go to subscription and then click subscribe. It will take you to a secured Stripe checkout page. Your AI agent.com is currently $9 per month, and that covers unlimited workflows, unlimited AI tasks unlimited generations. If you're an agency, you can hook up multiple websites to use under one account. 
I'm trying to make this the most affordable AI agent platform on the internet. All right, after you subscribe, it's gonna drop you onto the home page. Now we currently have six AI tasks available with more being added every week. But the one we're gonna focus on today is the one I'm most excited about and it's called auto marketing. It has a new badge here. I'm going to click on it. And there are a few things that we need to set up in order for it to work properly. But first, what exactly does it do? Well, we have an AI agent that is creating daily 2000 plus word articles for your business website. You're gonna start with a seed keyword and then each day your AI agent is going to take that keyword it's gonna run it through Google Ads, find the top performing keywords that are related to your seed keyword, and then write an article for it. So you can set this and forget it. Complete content generation on autopilot. Each and every day at the same time, a new article around a new keyword is being generated for your website. It's long, it has multiple images, it's optimized towards that keyword. It's completely taking this tedious process out of your hands so that you can focus on the more important parts of your business. I'm gonna show you an example of what it creates in a second. So let's set it up. First, you need to select your website from the drop-down menu. By default, it has the one I just connected. This is BookGen. You need to choose if you want to publish the article or make it a draft. Unchecking this toggle will make your article a draft until you publish it manually. I wanna publish it automatically. Then I need to choose my text model. We have a bunch to choose from, but for this example, I'm gonna use GPT-4 Turbo. Then we need to select our image model. We set up stable Diffusion 3, so I'm gonna select that. Our language output is going to be English. Then we can provide a link URL and link text. This can be an internal link, an external link, an affiliate link, anything that you want at the end of your article to drive traffic to another location. So let's say I wanted to drive people to youraiagent.com, I would drop that hyperlink in there. And for the hyperlink text, I'm gonna write the best AI agents on the net. Then if you want to generate your articles to a specific category or have them attached to specific tags, you can use these two inputs here it will draw from the categories and the tags on your website. So I set up a few example ones here. They're pretty random, but I'm gonna go foodie and maybe has a tag of bags. This will be dependent on what your website is about. Just create your categories and tags within your WordPress dashboard and it will draw from them here. Next, we need to provide an agent prompt and an image prompt. This is extra bit of background information that we want our models to know before we generate the text. By default, I have something about the output should be in HTML, but you could remove this and write something like, you are a comedian, write funny articles only. So all of my article outputs are gonna have a little bit of comedy within them, and that might be good to humanize the output and to make them more engaging. You could add anything here. There's a 2000 character limit. The longer the prompt, the less it's going to work. I think you guys are familiar with that with other large language models, like within ChatGPT, the longer the prompt, the worse it's gonna output. So write short, clear, succinct agent prompts and you'll get the best results. Next is the image prompt. How do you want your images to look? By default, I write no words, illustration only, colorful and modern. If you wanted realistic images, you could write something like photorealistic, maybe Kodak camera. Play around with this to see which prompt gets you the best results for your type of business niche. And last but not least, we need a seed keyword. This is where the magic happens. What is the best keyword to describe your business? Again, we're using Google's Keyword Planner. We're putting in that seed keyword and we're drawing all of the related keywords that come with it. So for example, I'm gonna write web hosting. Let's pretend my business is a web hosting platform and I wanna generate a bunch of articles around that keyword. Okay, next I'm gonna click automate content and then it's gonna send us to the workflows page. You can rename your workflow by clicking into this input box. 
by default, I call it auto marketing and then your seed keyword. It shows your connection, the type of AI agent task we're using. We're doing auto marketing. The interval is once every day. That is a good proper pace for indexing by Google. It won't look spammy for your visitors or your customers. And then we can cancel this workflow at any time, but it's designed to work on your behalf around the clock for about a year and a half. I'm working on making this longer, maybe making this infinite until you cancel it yourself. But for now, it's gonna be working for such a long time, you don't even have to worry about it. Then if I wanna edit anything in the workflow, I can click on the info button. It pops up all of our past settings. We can change the text model at any time, change the image model, the language. Maybe we don't wanna publish these articles anymore, I can turn that off change the text prompt or the image prompt, maybe change our categories. And then at the bottom here, we are going to see a list of the past keywords that the auto marketing AI agent has written articles for. And it's also gonna show a bunch of other information, but we need it to run through the first article before we start to see these details. I'm gonna wait one or two minutes and then I'll show you how it looks. All right, it's finished generating the first article. Web hosting was put into the past keywords. We see our upcoming article is tomorrow at 11.23 p.m. And then we see our next keyword, and that is gonna be website hosting. Very similar to web hosting. Remember, it's a related keyword, but we can pop in at any time and skip to the next keyword. So let's see what else it can grab. Ooh, free website hosting. I might like that. If it doesn't really relate to me, I can skip again. All right, free web hosting, best WordPress hosting, GoDaddy website builder. It goes on and on and on with brand new keywords. And if I just leave it, it's gonna generate an article at that next date. We also have some error logs here. If you are seeing problems with your workflow, you'll know exactly what the problem is. If you're out of credits for your text model, if your API is not connected properly, if your server is having issues, if there's anything, it will show down here. Now let's hop back into WordPress to see the web hosting article. All right, here it is, choosing the right web hosting service for your website. I have made an edit where the article title contains the keyword. This is better for SEO. And we see our two categories here, foodie and bags. I'm gonna click on this article. And here it is, we have a featured image around web hosting. I'm gonna scroll down. Look at this, the keyword is automatically bolded in your text. All right, I'm gonna keep scrolling. Look how long this article is, just amazing. We have another image around web hosting. I'm gonna keep scrolling down. Absolutely love this. And a third image about web hosting. Keep going, keep going. Outstanding, multiple keywords are bolded in the text. And then we have a nice conclusion with our link back to your AIagent.com. Perfect. Most of these should be automatically indexed by Google days to weeks after it's been posted. So you can leave this on autopilot and do what you need to do in other areas of your business. If you want to try this AI agent for yourself, I'll leave a link in the description below. I also built and designed an online course all about how to build AI agents for yourself. That will be in the description as well. Come check it out, join the cohort. And if you like this video, I put two more on the screen right now. Both have been catered to your personal watch history. Give one of them a click for me, give it a watch, and I'll see you in there. Peace.